In today's video, I'll be comparing the latest NVIDIA driver 531.41 versus two drivers I recommend you use rather. Um, namely 528.24, which was the last decent stable driver released by NVIDIA for G, uh, GTX cards. And then my personal favorite 528.02, which based on my testing has the most stable performance. So I'm going to get to my results in a second. I'm just going to let you know I've added in newer games into my benchmarks just to show that the older drivers actually outperform the newer drivers even in current games. So at that, let's get to my results. So all my games were tested at medium settings. Where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used the quality setting. Except for Returnal. Returnal is, my laptop is under spec for Returnal. So I use low settings with FSR set to balance. Everything else is medium with FSR set to quality. So let's get to the results. In lieu of keeping this video short, I'm not going to go through them individually. I'll just give you the, the, the end figures. So for 531.41, over 11 games, my total FPS was 764.29. And then when I divide that by 11, my average FPS is 69.48. And then I do the same thing for the 1% lows. Over 11 games, my average 1% or my total 1% lows were 486.06. Divide that by 11, and that gives me an average 1% low of 44.19. When I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS for this driver, it gives me a stability percentage in my testing of 63.6%. And that is not good. So for 528.24, which is my second favorite driver, um, over the 11 games, let me just scroll down here. Over the 11 games, my total FPS was 761. Divide that by 11, and my average FPS per game over 11 games is 69.18. And then when I add up the 1% lows in the same fashion, over the 11 games, my 1% lows of 525.69, divide that by 11, and my average FPS or my average 1% low per game is 47.79. So you can see there's already an uplift there. And when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, I get a stability reading of 69.08%. So as you can see, it's 6% more stable than the latest driver. This is 528.24. And finally, we get to my favorite driver, 528.02. Over the 11 games, my total average FPS is 63, 763.19. And when I divide that by 11, my average FPS per game is 69.38. And then when I add up all the 1% lows, my total 1% lows over 11 games is 552.41 divide that by 11 and then my average 1% low per game is 50.22 so when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS lo and behold I get my most stable result I get 72.38% in terms of stability and guys this is me including all the latest games that are older than what, uh, when the drivers came out. So it's technically, they're not supposed to perform well, but these older drivers still have better performance than the newer drivers that are supposedly the official drivers for some of these games. So guys, if you want my recommendation, at the very least, use 528.24. And if you want a rock solid performer drive, or a rock solid performing driver, 528.02 is still the best but anyways that's just the video for today if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed just as of yet now's the time to do so if you got any questions hit me up in the comment section other than that guys have a good day it's people like you cheers